Oh no, someone has made a video about you, exposing you of the shady things that you do and providing evidence to it. Your fans are asking you to explain yourself, or at least respond to it. The right thing to do would be to analyse the video and explain step by step all of the things that you disagree with, or elaborate on things that the uploader might not have known. But what do you do instead? <laughs> About seven months ago I made a video about this dude named Comchick because he stole art from a friend of mine and used it as a thumbnail without asking. I spread word around to members of the community and as it turned out he also steals from a lot of other artists as well. I was able to come to an agreement with Comchick. I would take the video down so long as he asked artist permission and left credit where it's due. He did this for about a week before he stopped completely. I left the video up and fast forward today. A user by the name of Jay's uploaded a video about him, exposing him of many things, this time gathering a lot more attention than ever before. Comchick was questioned about this endlessly, he tried a lot of damage control, made community posts, only to delete them if they didn't work, he censored people labelling them as haters, all the meanwhile continue his nasty behaviour- <gasps> I yet again managed to come to another agreement with him. The same agreement at that. However, it wasn't even 24 hours before he went back on his word. He uploads a video using artwork with a cropped out watermark. Everything continues as normal, until today. Comchick uploaded a video calling Jays a liar, a hater, and a manipulator. And this is my response to that video. Drama, drama, and drama. A lot of people often believe the first YouTube video that is recorded about someone, even if that video has questionable facts and evidence. Not all people want to think and analyze. Hi guys. Today I will try to tell you normally why Jay-Z wants to be famous and why his facts are just his opinion. Let's go! Why so many people don't like him? Why so many people don't like him? So many people don't like him? So many people... The fact this is a lie. Dude, he didn't say everyone didn't like you. He only said some people don't like you, which is true. You know, there's a lot of people out there who don't like you. I'm not like it only by the community on speedrun left for dead, not the whole community in the game. So you're telling me that every single person who's commenting hate on your videos are all members of the left for dead speedrun community? No. Because a year ago or a bit more, I was doing speedrun on left for dead series, but was a bit not experienced with specifying a timer in the game, and so only indicated minutes. Yes, that time was really not accuracy and not right, and I was stupid to admit it, and fought with the administrations on speedrun Darkham and with some people. For that, I want to apologize. Forgive me, guys. Okay, but you still say that the admins in speedrun.com have a bias against you. You know that's not true. But I have long understood my mistake and removed the world records from all my speedruns left for dead videos. And I also indicated the exact IGT time. By the way... I'm proud of you, man. The timer in the game cannot be shown. It's enough only to turn on, on the stopwatch and mark the right time. So, what's wrong with using that exactly? I can name a lot of people who just use a stopwatch, dude. So, in this fact, Jay-Z lied a bit. And he knows. I've deleted the world record's titles a long time ago. How is he lying about that? You've just said that you deleted world record from the title, that means you had it there in the first place. He's telling the truth. Most of Comchick's Left 4 Dead content consists of solo or challenge runs, which, contrary to what you might be thinking, do not actually require much skill. Rather, solo runs are mostly reliant on luck and trial and error. I want to see how easy you are to make the same. Idiot. For example, no weapon, no damage solo, special delivery mutation solo, and etc. I mean, you could always just make a live stream and prove that you can do it. Comchick still cheats. There's many instances in his videos that literally show him cheating. Not only does he use admin commands to get an edge, like when he killed teammates who were still alive in his video, expert healing no mutation or restarts the parish. The second lie. Yes, we often use the command kill, because it reduces the waiting time for survivors to die, but we never hide it from people because it's not the cheats. It doesn't make our challenges any easier. Now this all just depends if the video is an actual speedrun, or it's just for entertainment purposes. 
No speedrun should have console commands used, especially if it saves time. In his video, Solar Realism Expert No Damage the Parish, during the final loading screen, you can see the chat box showing him having enabled God Mode multiple times. I like the way he tries to manipulate people and says I use God Mode in that video. But if you look at my comment under that video, you'll see where I wrote about God Mode. By the way, this comment was left two years ago by me. So, have you actually got any evidence to back that up, or are you just saying it? Even if it is true, why wouldn't you just start the run over again so you wouldn't have accusations like this? In his video, Solar Realism Expert No Damage to Passing, he is clearly seen being hit by a common infected outside of the grace period without taking any damage. You apparently don't know, but sometimes commons can't hit you. It's called a hitbox. This game is very old and has so many bugs, but a lot of people can't understand it. Here is another example of a hitbox. So I'm going to try the same thing. Just try and get their attention here. Okay. And oh, I can just jump out the way and they don't actually hit. Wow, that's pretty cool. I left a dead hitbox. Yeah. Look at that. They're missing my hitbox. Now I'll just turn God mode off and uh, oh. In this video, Spike Mutation Gridlock, he literally starts the video by giving himself a grenade launcher with infinite ammo. Are you serious, man? These videos were recorded just for fun, and some custom campaigns couldn't be made without Infinity Grenade Launcher. I never hide it from people too. Don't be as stupid. Okay, so apart from the name calling, I actually agree with you on this one. It doesn't really say anywhere that it's a challenge run or a speed run. And lastly, in his video Solarism Expert No Damage Dark Carnival, you can see on multiple occasions that he enabled SV cheats for example in the first and last safe rooms of the campaign. But more blatantly, in this video, you can see him entering map 3's safe room without any items, but when the next map loads, he suddenly has a bile joy in his inventory, which he can only have obtained by spawning it in with admin commands. Yes, it's segmented run and people know about it, because it's impossible to finish campaign with expert no damage in one go. I tested the campaign and forgot to then remove the bile bomb from my inventory. I'm sorry guys, this was my little mistake, but I didn't use cheese in this video, like he said. So what he means by this is, this is meant to be a no damage run. If it's segmented, that means he's cheating, because he could have tucked damage in one chapter and just loaded the chapter back and did it again. That's if you weren't using god mode anyway. It does prove that he is splicing his runs. Splicing, for those who don't know the term, means that you play a part of a game multiple times and then only show the best result, cutting out the moments you didn't do well in. It's essentially segmenting a run, but hiding the fact that it was segmented. This is actually a very serious issue, to the point that many speedrunners in various games have been banned for life because they spliced runs. I've never told people that I finished it all campaigns and my challenges in one go. It's obvious that some challenges are very hard, and it's simply impossible to finish them in one go, even more in solo. You can easily understand when I record a video in one go. They are called No Restarts Runs, and you can see them on my channel. If my video don't have the title No Restarts, it means segmented runs, so stop manipulating people, Jay. That's fair enough, but you can't be labeling a challenge No Damage if it's spliced together. You don't really see people on Total Wipeout falling off the obstacle course, climbing back up, resuming the recording, and acting like nothing happened. To go even further, almost every single survival video he had uploaded to his channel contained some form of cheating. Everything from additional ammo, using scripts, to spawning in items and using god spots, you mention it. Unfortunately, he has deleted those videos, probably due to the backlash from the survival community, so I can't show any of those videos in detail. But, just to prove that these videos did indeed exist, here are the old, dead links that can still be found on Discord posts. I deleted all my survival videos because they were boring and easy if you play with someone. Not because I use cheats, you are lying to people again. This point sounds kind of redundant from the both of you. There isn't really any way of proving it for either side. However, the survival community isn't the only group of people he's disrespected in such a manner. 
He also shit all over the speedrunning community by making up his own rules, lying about having world records, and calling the actual skilled speedrunners cheaters. You lie again, man. That the whole speedrun community I hate me. I'm disliked only by way for the two speedrun community. I speedrun Resident Evil games many times, and I know a lot of good people out there. You try to write to my friend Uktrends to find out everything about me and my videos about Resident Evil 2 Remake. But he told me about you and said you're such a fool. Dude, you are literally putting false words into his mouth. Jays didn't once specify he was talking about the entire speedrun community. The video is on the topic of Left 4 Dead. He was talking about the Left 4 Dead speedrun community. He's a terrible versus player. He has never achieved a good time in survival. He's a mediocre speedrunner. And most of all, he's arrogant and a narcissist. Yes, I'm not a very good player in versus mode, because I don't play in versus often, and I don't like it so much. I like recording challenges and solo runs more. And I never recorded survival mode solo, because I also don't like this mode so much too, as I said. You are saying I am arrogant, but how about you? You are not trying to come up with your content. You are criticizing other people to get more views. Without this video, you've never received so many views. Dude, of course he's doing it for views. He wants to bring attention to you and the shady things that you do. The only way to do that is getting views. You literally upload other people's artwork to bring attention to your own videos. I don't care what anyone says, thumbnails play a very large role in getting clicks. You're a hypocrite. He is using other people's art as thumbnails to bring attention to his videos. He then makes money from people watching his videos and then he claims that he can do whatever he wants with images that appear on Google because they can be viewed by anyone. Wouldn't it be useful if Google had a filter to hide copyrighted content? You lie again. I use other people's arts because they're good, and I didn't know how to make arts myself before. No dude, no you're lying! Let me just casually remind you that even after you had 10 to 15 arts already created, you still stole somebody else's artwork removed their watermark from the image and used it as a thumbnail. And I had to get off my own arse, contact the artist and tell him to credit you. No one should have to do that, you should be doing that yourself. But most people pay attention not to arts, they like my videos. If that really was the case, you wouldn't even be using the posters, you are a hypocrite liar! And now I can make my own arts. So why haven't you been doing that in the first place? You've had knowledge of SFM for quite a while now, dude! By the way, some arts was made for me, and some arts I made myself. For example, these arts. Wow, are you actually claiming you made that? In that it doesn't belong to an SFM video from Grape Juice? Yeah, let's ignore the fact that you fucking ripped that off from somebody else. And that's another one that you ripped off because you didn't want to credit the artist. Komchik has repeatedly violated copyright laws. He has stolen other people's art and used them as thumbnails on numerous occasions, refusing to credit them and even ignoring them when they tried to speak to him about it. Let me illustrate to you how bad this actually is. This thumbnail is still and this one too, and this one as well, also this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and those two, and that one, and this one, and that one, and this one there, and that one there, and those over there, and that one, and this one, and that one, and this one, and that one, and this one, and this one, and that one, and this one, and this one, and... Yeah. Pretty much every thumbnail he uses is stolen. You've got to be having a fucking laugh there, dude. Your apology is literally fucking Comic Sans on a black background above sad music. Oh my god. Oh. It's- dude, it's almost like you just don't give a shit. No, 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 actually, no. You only put that there to stretch out to the 10 minute mark. Look at all them juicy ads, whoa! <laughs> Dude, you haven't even shown 90% of his video, you've literally just cherry-picked certain points to fit your agenda because you know your fans aren't going to watch it all. If anyone here is lying and being manipulative, it's you. You won't show the rest of it because you know it's all true. You haven't got any way of arguing against his other points. It's easier just to send your fans to go and dislike the video. 
But we're all just haters, isn't that right, Comchick? <laughs> <laughs>